When dating, having a group of friends around you can be invaluable. They can encourage you to get out there and date. They can advise you on what to wear. They can go out with you when you want to go out, but you don't want to go out alone. They can commiserate when dates don't go well. But what happens when you meet someone you like? Do you know how to navigate your friendships when dating? Do you have the type of friends who are beneficial to your well-being? Are they encouraging and excited for you and this new relationship? Are they supportive and understanding when you'd like to spend more time getting to know them better? Do they care deeply about your happiness and want the best for you? Or do they become jealous and secure and threatened? Do they not understand that though you still enjoy spending time with them, you also want to see where this new relationship goes? Do they try to sabotage this new relationship by criticizing him or pointing out all of the wrong things about him? Do they discourage you from seeing him or say negative things about how you choose to spend your time? As a dating coach, when one of my clients meets a great guy, it's wonderful. I'm just as excited as she is. One of my clients, April, came to our weekly sessions happy and full of love. She had met a nice man and they had a lot in common. They both had been raised by single parents and had to shoulder a lot of responsibilities growing up. Both enjoyed cooking and antiquing. It seemed like a match made in heaven. But a few weeks went by and she showed up looking sad, unhappy, and despondent. She told me that she was planning on ending the relationship. After some discussion, she explained that she really liked him and that there wasn't anything really wrong with him. She believed that there was potential, but her best friend had dissuaded her from seeing him again. April felt lost and confused. I'd seen this happen many times before. It can happen with a single best friend or even a tight group of friends. Instead of being encouraging and supportive, the friend feels intimidated and threatened. She feels pressure because her friend is happy, that's you, and they're not. So April and I had a lengthy conversation about what she wanted and how her friend was feeling. She understood the situation and she knew what she had to do if she was focused on having this man in her life. It was a difficult conversation that she was afraid of having with her best friend, but she presented her side with love and compassion. April was lucky. She was able to build a relationship with a man while still maintaining her friendship with her bestie. When you begin dating someone you like, the dynamics of your relationships with your friends and family will change. It can be challenging to navigate your friendships when you start dating. But what's great is you don't have to end either relationship to be happy. When you have a supportive coach, team, friends, or family, you can navigate, navigate all the newness and feel happy with the results. So what about you? Are your friends happy when you meet a man that you're interested in? Do they offer you their love, support, and encouragement? Do they want the best for you? I hope so. I hope you have everything you need and have strong allies in your corner. Curious about what's possible for you with the right support that helps you attract, date, and create the relationship you've always wanted? The Art of Dating Academy can help. If you'd like to learn more, head over to daretodatedifferently.com where you can pick up your free dating tips and two free checklists, as well as schedule your free strategy call. You can, you'll find the link in the description below. During your strategy call, I'll help you identify your biggest obstacles and give you actionable steps to overcome them. If you enjoyed this video, 
please like, sub subscribe, and comment as it will help the channel to grow. And if there's any way that I can support you, please leave a comment. Dare to date differently.